Brian, we're here at VCL in East Kilbride, but can you tell us a little bit about VCL? Yeah, yeah. Uh, VCL was formed in 1983. Uh, we're part of the Glenarmon Group of Companies, uh, which was established in 1983 uh, with the introduction of ILDS, which is a, a welding side of the business. Uh, but VCL was introduced in 1987 uh, to complement uh, the welding side and further develop what we can offer our customers. Uh, so VCL first started supplying the uh, uh, internals for valves, uh, hence the name valve components. But over the, the next 30 years to today, we've developed far more uh, and offer our customer a, a more of a turnkey solution to the oil and gas industry. We are predominantly oil and gas uh, within VCL. Uh, as I say, it's one of the group of companies. Uh, there's five companies within the group, uh, ILDS, VCL, JBE, uh, Glenarmon Technologies, uh, and oil tools. So uh, VCL being one of them, and one of the oldest ones. One thing I notice about your facility here, you're not just cutting metal, you're, you're assembling for customers. Is that like a one-stop shop for the oil and gas market? Exactly, exactly. When we first started just doing purely components, as in valve internals, through the years we developed more and more of our capabilities and capacities so we could offer our customers a, a, a bigger scope, uh, a larger range of products. So we developed from just the components right through to assembled and fully tested units. So within our assembly and test facility we have our standard hydro testing, uh, gas testing, but we also have capability for PR2 or PVT, some people know it as, so product verification testing. So one of our customers has a new product coming out, they start with a prototype. So we'll manufacture the prototype on a turnkey basis, so we'll procure all the materials, fasteners, elastomers, we'll manufacture the parts in-house, fully assemble it and then put it through the API qualification testing, which is a PVT testing. And one thing also I notice, you've got a lot of investment going on here. Now, I've, there's not many times I see a, a very big CMM from Mitsutoyo, but is that part of the investment programme? That, that's part of our strategy. We're always looking to develop and, and offer our customers more and more, wherever possible. Uh, and you're right, during this market in the last couple of years, the oil and gas industry has been really quite low, uh, extremely low. Uh, however, VCL is a company and Glenarmon Group is a company uh, have continued to invest. Uh, the investment within VCL, yes, we have a larger CMM. Uh, we have the five axis VTL. We've had water jet machines put in. Uh, but on the CMM, uh, that was a, a request from our, our customers uh, where they required more of a, a, a CMM measurement on larger components. Uh, now, we currently have, uh, before the introduction of our new one, we had three previous CMMs. However, uh, the components are getting larger, getting heavier, and getting more intricate. So we needed a larger table uh, and the most modern CMM in the market, and that's what we've purchased. And it takes a brave company to start investing when the markets are down. But you know, one thing I really noticed with your company is that you've got a lot of machine tools here. Are you investing in more machine tools? We're always looking to see what has to be replaced or upgraded. We're always moving forward. We never stand. If you stand still, you stagnate. And we don't, we, are, we, we don't stagnate as a company. We always develop further. Our latest investment has been the Hyundai horizontal boring machine, uh, which has been a great addition to the suite of machines that we do have. Jerry, we've just spoken to Brian about VCL. Now, you're the production director here. On behalf of TW Ward, you've invested in this Hyundai Wear KBM 135C. Now, there's plenty of products in the marketplace, but why did you choose this machine? Well, basically, we, we looked at everything that was on the market. Uh, rigidity of the machines, uh, repeatability, what, what accuracy they can machine to, uh, the quickness of the, the rapids on the tables, uh, looking at if they had a B axis that was actually powered, and uh, we eventually went for the TW Ward KBN 135C. Uh, and this was based on how sturdy it is, how flexible it is that with our other machines that we have within this facility, that we can fit a bonnet on it to fit the contour heads, line bars, uh, and, uh, and the benefits to VCL is huge. A bigger uh, machine table capacity is two meters uh, by 1.8. Uh, the rapid is, I think it's exactly about 20 metres uh, a minute, which is far superior to older style horizontal borers. But it also opens up so much of a, a market to us within the oil and gas industry.
for refurbishment work uh, where we do recutting, recutting lights of pre-weld valves, uh, bodies, block elbows, this type of product. Uh, we reclad them, uh, we remachine them, as, and it's fi as re refurbished parts completely finished. And it's you, all done turnkey within VCL. You do some really big parts here, but how much can it uh, hold on the table? Uh, the tonnage on the table is approximately 20 ton it can take, uh, and this will still drive your C-axis, which is a really big component. Uh, I think if you've got something that's 20 ton on the table, you're not going to exactly uh, need any more table size than what we've, what we've got with TW Word, the KBN 135. So, so this machine is uh, principally a boring and, and milling machine. You've got a fanic control. Is is that one of the reasons why you actually invested uh, in the in the high end uh, wear? Well, we, we do have a lot of machines within VCL that are actually fanic control. Uh, we have a offline programming facility that can accommodate this type of control. Uh, it's it's not uh, unusual for VCL. To, invest in uh, machines with the fan control. Uh, we do have history with that. We do have operators that have got the skill to work these machines. Uh, and that and is predominantly born in a milling machine. A lot of born is done on these. So. And is it a benefit having the milling operation as well? Oh, definitely, without a doubt. You've, every, every thread you do, you, you machine now, you don't use taps anymore. Predominantly you use hobbers all the time. So you're hobbing, which is milling. And does this type of investment, does it give you the opportunity to look at offering capacity to the marketplace? Because the oil and gas market is on the up at the moment. Uh, we do have capacity within VCL and we do have capacity for horizontal boring, vertical boring, all the bigger end type of machining. Uh, and we want to give that service to the, the major OEMs in, uh, within the oil and gas market at this moment in time. And talk to me about the uh, the acquisition of the actual machine. Uh, you know, what sort of process? How much time has it uh, taken to actually sign off and get commissioned? Uh, it was reasonably quick. Uh, once the machine was actually viewed, uh, I would say it was probably anything at most, probably 16 weeks, 20, 16 weeks, I would say. So the backup and service and the TW Wars is is to the level do you expect? Uh, it was very good, actually. Yeah. Uh, uh, I wouldn't expect anything else, so...